Hey, now you're a math star. Get your game on. Go count. Hey, now you're a math star. Get your game on. Go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. How are you, math stars? So today we're in module 20, lesson three. All right. And you've been talking in this module about what? About weight, heavy and light, right? Well, last module, in module 19, you talk about length and height, right? Guess what? Today, you're going to describe objects using both of those things. The long, heavy object or something. You're going to use more than one attribute to describe something. All right? So let's get started. Lesson three, I can use more than one object to describe use more than one attribute, sorry, attribute to describe an object. All right, let's see. Let's look at this chair and this table. There's a big platter. That platter is empty. Okay, so we could describe the chair by saying the chair is very tall, right? It's taller than the table. Remember we use that word, taller? It's taller than the table and it's lighter than the table, right? I, well, I would assume the table weighs more than the chair probably, right? You could say the table is shorter than the chair, but it is heavier than the chair, right? How about this? Could you talk about the length? Which one? The table is longer than the chair, right? So those are all different ways to describe it. Okay, a leaf, I mean, not a leaf, a feather versus a big old piece of log. Hmm, which one do you think is heavier? Which one's longer? We could say the um, log is longer and heavier than the feather, right? All right, let's get started in your book. Use red to trace the line that shows the length of the object. Use blue to trace the line that shows the height of the objects. Describe the weight of the objects to a, your homeschool teacher. So first of all, we said you're going to use a red line to trace the length. Do you remember the definitions for length? Length is the distance from one end to the other. So we're going to use a red line going this way from one end to the other. Same for the stapler, one end to the other. And then we need to use blue to measure the height. Remember height goes top to bottom, the distance from top to bottom. So we're measuring it. So we can say that, right, that the table is taller than the stapler. And the stapler is Heavier or lighter? Can you describe the weight? I think the stapler is light. And I think the table is probably heavy, right? I think so. You can pause this while you, if you need to while you do that. All right. Draw an object that is short and light. For number two, sorry, right here. Draw an object that is short and light. So short can be short length or short height. You get to pick, but which one, it has to be light though. Okay, so pause this while you draw that object, okay? All right, number three, describe the length and weight of the objects to a classmate. Circle the object that is long and light. Okay, so the length, what's the length of this stapler? Hmm. I think the stapler is short. I think this pencil is long, but I think that the stapler is heavier than the pencil. So circle the object that is long and light. Long, short, heavy, light. Go ahead and pause this while you do that. All right, describe the height and weight of the objects to a classmate. Circle the object that is tall and heavy. <laughs> well, there's a plant, and in that plant, the plant's pot probably has some dirt. And dirt 
is heavy if you have enough of it, right? So circle the object that is tall and heavy. Do you think this is tall or short? Do you think this one's tall or short? Well, probably you're taller than that plant, right? But we're comparing these two objects. Not We're not comparing you to the plant because you would be the one that's taller and probably heavier than the plant. But maybe, maybe not. All right, you can pause this while you do that. Circle the object that's tall and heavy. Okay, you're on your own. There are three on your own questions. So you need to go find your homeschool teacher and have them read the question to you. All right. And show them what you can what you know about length and height and um and heavy and light. All right. Fabulous job, Math Stars. It's been so great learning math with you. I hope you have a great day.